Hello friends, in this exercise we are going to learn three things Format Painter, Paste Link and Hyperlink So let's first under, understand what is the Format Painter So as you can see this data is colorful and the same data is here which is unformatted that is not at all no color nothing is bold no italic only the data is there so if you want this setting it is bold it has got border lines and also background color as green so if you want to apply the same formatting at this place you just go to format printer click this format printer and click here at the destination data where you want to apply this format so I have clicked here look at this this format has exactly been applied on this so now next I'm undoing it now I'm next trying to apply the entire row formatting at this place as these two data are exactly same so I'm applying the entire row data to this copied data so I'm copying this format and I'm clicking here look at this the entire row has been formatted quickly so similarly here the data is underlined with the background color borders are also applied so if you want to copy this format in this manner and click here it will spread automatically to the extent up to which it was there so the same formatting has been applied here in the similar fashion if you want to apply this formatting click here this formatting has been applied okay so similarly you can do this also so I'm clicking here copying this format and using this print format printer to apply this format to this unformatted data so here it is it looks like this the complete thing has been formatted so now the question arises can we apply the entire format uh, in just one click so let's undo entire thing whatever we have done I'm undoing it I am selecting the entire data using format printer and clicking here and look at this the entire format has been applied as horizontal so this is called format printer and the use of format printer is done like this so you can pick up formatting from any source place could be a cell or could be a range and apply it to a destination cell or destination range that's it in format printer now let's understand what is paste link so I am selecting this data and copying it next I will right click here and will use paste link so we will go to paste special option paste special I have right clicked here in this cell and we'll go to paste special option and here I will open paste special or you can uh, see here this icon where the chain is built is the icon of paste link so alternatively you can use this icon as well so I'm clicking it so I have clicked it uh, the data has been copied okay with the paste link now suppose I am changing the basic of you know Deepak Kumar who is a manager in HRM department payroll section okay so I am just going to this place and I am making it 55,000 so I have changed his basic so the same basic will be changed here because it is linked with 
you know uh, this data so this is called paste link you have pasted this data at this place similarly you can paste it on some other uh, uh, worksheet as well in this file and some other file as well where it will be you know seen so if you want i can show you i am opening a new file by pressing control n and i am copying this data copy and opening this new file and going to paste and here is the paste link option okay I'm saving this file. Save as browse. Okay, I am saving it on the desktop. and call it paste link file the file name is paste link. so here is this file okay i am closing this file now okay and i am changing this data to 40 5600 so it okay so look at this place this data has got updated automatically and let's see how that data has been updated or not so let's go to the desktop and open this paste link file so here is the file and it is 4000 45600 so this data has also been updated so you can see uh, whether it is in the same you know, mm, same uh, sheet or other sheet or other file, the paste link updates the data automatically. But the reverse way, if you think, if I change the data to the 50,000 out here, and this data will not change at this place. See, if this data is changed at any place, the same will reflect in this data call uh, this data to be the parent data it will reflect in the child data but the same the child changes will not reflect in the parent so that's it about uh, the paste link and let's understand what is hyperlink now hyperlink for that i want to open that paste link file from here Okay, so I am creating a hyperlink in this text which will open the paste link file at the desktop. So here it is. We will go to insert or and here we will look for the hyperlink. So where is the hyperlink? It is here. So here is the hyperlink or simply you can right click in this cell you will get the hyperlink option so either of the two options can be used either you right click in this cell and go to this option or you click here go to insert and go to hyperlink so if you click this hyperlink it will show you this platform the current folder where these folders these folders and these files are there if you want to open some other folder you know then visit this place and say desktop i want to use a file at, at the desktop and the file name is paste link so i will just browse for the paste link file and uh, uh, 
let me look for this paste link it's here so i will click it and say okay so now the paste link option is ready i am increasing the font to make it better visible so here is the paste link if you take your pointer here on this link it will show you the hand sign and if you click it it will open the paste link file kept at the desktop so here it is the paste link file i am saving it closing it so that is how you use hyperlink to open any other file similarly you can open any kind of the file you can open a word file you can open a powerpoint presentation file or you can open a excel file as i have shown you so that's all in this exercise thank you very much happy learning